Nick's face, his face on that all in was priceless. He knows like how insane it was. And Big Al, they hear it, Big Al full and ace as well. So Chidwick, he defends the big line. He is started today second place. Currently, I believe in last place. So a very small continuation from, it from Raj Kumar. Pretty much trying to just take it down. Denying his opponent equity. Now if you're Chidwick, you got top pair. So a queen on the turn. Straight. Looks like he's going to reach for more chips. I like this actually. If you think about it, the queen actually doesn't hit Chidwick that much. That's a pretty cool bet actually from Vivek. Very good hand reading, but it seems like Chidwick's going nowhere. Still gonna make the call. Just dialed in, he's just he's ready, he's in there. But you're still gonna get called by hands like 10-9, Jack-10, a, a lot of 10s in there. So I don't think Vivek was completely surprised he got called. And I think if he does bet this flop and this turn card, he should consider bluffing the river. How much you got left? <laughs> How much you got left? <laughs> That's the, I'm thinking about putting you all in play. I would love to see him shove it all in. All in. All he does in. go for Amazing. it. Amazing. Test to Stevie. And again, Stevie is not a player that is afraid. He is very capable. He knows what's going on. He knows what's the possibilities here. He realizes Vivek is chip leader. He's capable. But man, this could be a while. Shidwick is in the matrix right now, working it out, thinking about it. Maybe, you know, you talk about poker, live poker, one of the game's greatest players. He does oh call. My I God. mean, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the big stage. Stephen Chidwick, just, just absolutely savage play there. I mean, this guy is a true, true wizard. You saw Millet go, wow. That's my reaction. Twenty-two. Uh, no. Give you a chance to get some refund. Okay. Two, four, six, seven. Oh. They want to qualify. Can probably do like a big all-in hand. Just will be cool. Uh, three of us like move all in with random hands. <laughs> so the very last hand, Tony G of top pair. Gonna fire out. Haxon's got middle pair and Bodzikowski bottom pair. So there's one call from Haxton. So there's a chance he thinks his seven is good occasionally. As long as Haxton's got some straight draws. He's gonna continue as well. He's got position. A complete blank. Tony G is reaching for a lot of chips. 70,000 euros, half the pot. But then again, Tony G's been betting random hands, so could just be like a 5 4 offsuit. Haxon's going to fold one of them, but now it's on Bozikowski. It is going to call here a third pair. 270,000 euros in the middle. River card Small is to profit. 8. It's okay, still a profit. Like a Tony G is still value betting. Top pair, but nine kicker. 120,000 euros. But there's a lot of hands that beat him. Any King. Makita reaching for chips. Raises to 400,000. Wow, what a sick play. Can Tony G make the call here of just top pair, no kicker? Wow, he snap calls pretty much. On the very last hand. I'm the best! The best! Yes! I think at least someone has a seven. Likely, like Chidwick probably would have bet a seven on the flop. You only gotta worry about Kenny having a seven. So Kenny is currently in the tank and he's wondering why did Trickett bet so small? If Trickett had a seven, he would bet bigger on the river because he only bet about a third of the pot. So he thinks Trickett is going for a thin value bet with a jack. So Chidwick's gonna make the call here. I would like to see Trick and get away from the ace jack. I think when you see a cold call for 102k. And look at Chidwick who extracts a lot of value all of a sudden with checking his hand twice. Gets, gets a random bluff in there. Well, you can see the 
the body language doesn't seem like wow this is insane hand Bryn, the, the sick part is Bryn was right that Sam was weak. He he made a ridiculous play. Now Chidwick. Uh, so everyone has kind of like out. Wow. One up everyone. Like just kind of like. This is crazy. Sam Trickett, who finished second in the one drop original 1 million buy in to Antonio Esfandiari in 2012 for a $10 million score. Here he is on the big stage in his home country town. Well, home country. I don't know exactly where he's from in, in England, but Sam Trickett legendary bluff on the river and Chidwick who checked twice sets up what he wants and now I think Chidwick's I don't think he's going to call. If Chidwick had a set he would have bet already and he does lay it down Wow, oh my Samuel God. Trickett insane Jungle Man calls base 10, Makita King Jack of Diamonds thinking about coming along or maybe making a play no. Oh, no. Wow, just gonna jam. The rock. That's the rock. <laughs> the rock full kick. The yeah. fucking rock. It's a good nickname. Just the rock. Even the rock full. This guy must have a huge hand. Yeah, I think I can't pull him, but let me just see. Uh, oh. Oh, no. Uh, uh, whatever, oh, I call, I call. Makes the call. Wow. Oh. Okay, run okay. Yeah. Got something good. Why are you what? calling me? What do you mean, why I call you? Of course I'm going to call. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, yeah. What? You think, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. What? You think, you think everyone's going to fall? Yeah. There's like one million oh, in the pot. Ah, it's in hand. Fuck. I'm stupid. That's me? How many times? Two. Tony Ma, such an easy money. I'm crushing this. Tony in our ace. Easy money. We're running it twice, right? Yeah. All right. Thank fucking God. Give him a fucking jack. God damn it, I'm so fucked. Makita wins the first one. Fuck you, Makita. And you drink, huh? Fucking jack, you did cheer. Aya. No joke. What? what? Oh, a lot of bouts now. Ooh. Flush beats a full house. Insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Two times again. Okay. Yeah, gamble. Oh, I need. Oh, you do. I talk to you. Oh, wild flush. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. For jungle oh, man. Royal flush, huh? Royal <laughs> flush. <laughs> jungle <laughs> man. <laughs> Fucking fuck with the jungle. Fucking king I thought he was a rock. Backdoor royal flush. <laughs> they have yeah, the rock. He says, okay. Yeah, listen, yeah. This is how you, you fuck with a rock in the jungle. So a set of queens for Bodzikowski and he checks. Romain has the nut straight draw. And a set of sixes for Devin Tang. This is a super action flop. So Devin just calls. He knows if he raises, it looks really strong. I guess he doesn't want to play a huge bloated <coughs> pot right now against a player that can cover him. Interesting. Turn card is an eight. It's a blank. The eight literally doesn't change anything. Romain is the chip leader, and he's going to fire again. He knows this looks insanely strong. It's immense pressure as there's several people with just one million chip stacks. If he does go all in, he kind of puts himself in a situation where he only gets called by worse. But then again, if he does go all in, he lets a straight draw potentially get there. He's going to go all in. But just too much in the middle. He actually has 31% equity. <coughs> He's going to lay it down. Now, Deep in here. He makes the call. Oh man, one out remaining 4% chance. I did not hold a six. The dream is alive. One more card to go. Me neither. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> what? Oh. oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow. I wasn't kidding. Did you see Demon? Demon wasn't even looking. He just says, oh. That has to be oh, the most insane hands. Outer. <laughs> Short deck. Huh.